this is Selena Krause and welcome to another LDRS creative card video. For today's card we'll be using the Thank You Flowers stamp set along with every word, Everyday Words uh, die set. So I have the dice on the right, those are two separate sets. We have the Thank You Flowers uh, dice and uh, we'll be using the I've Got Your Bag from Everyday uh, Words. So I've die cut that twice from white cardstock and gold like champagne um, glitter cardstock and I set that aside. So now let's stamp the flowers. I'll show you how to stamp one set using uh, the pink shades. So I'll be using tutu, pink tutu and um, lipstick jungle. So position that uh, this is um, kind of its group uh, stamp, uh, so it stamps four of the flowers at the same time. So I have here a two piece of cardstock and I'm just turning it around to uh, use the other side of it so to get even more flowers. Then in the meantime I added a small flower so I stamped that one twice. I'm adding the leaves now and I'm using uh, Prickly Pear Perfection to stamp those leaves. Again I'm turning it on around for 180 degrees and stamping again. Um, now let's do the second layer of the flowers. So for this one I'm using Clipstick Jungle. I'm going to turn it around and stamp again. And again this is sped up quite a bit so you're not bored watching me stamp for 20 minutes um, all these images. So next I lined up that uh, the lines for the set of leaves. Now I'm lining up the center of the flowers. Again I'm using the same lipstick jungle um, ink pad. Stamping the centers and now the fourth layer. I'll be using the Raven Hybrid ink for the fourth layer. So I'm inking that up, stamping, and uh, I think we're all done here with all these flowers. So off camera I've stamped uh, using a bunch of different colors. And then we have the coordinating dies, those are also uh, grouped ones and you can die cut uh, everything pretty easily. So again off, the off camera I've die cut a bunch of those by magic of YouTube. Now let's start assembling uh, our card. So uh, I'm starting by adding some adhesive on that white uh, die cut and I will add the uh, gold one on top. This will create more dimensional and more sturdy sentiment. So I'm adding that on top, lining it up to make sure that it's nice and uh, you don't really see the white underneath. I'm adding a paper weight on top and I'll set that aside to dry. Next I have a piece of white cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter. So it's a little bit smaller than A2 and I'm just going through my flowers here, selecting uh, and arranging them around that sentiment. So I'm doing um, symmetrical um, kind of mirror image. So what I'm putting on the top left, I'm putting on the bottom right from the sentiment. So I'm just pulling out uh, the same flowers. And again, we uh, stamped each flower twice from each color. I have more than twice here, but uh, you can do with stamping it just twice and die cutting. And again, you will have a bunch of leftover for another card. So now let's assemble our card. I'm adding adhesive on back of that sentiment. I'm going to position it on my panel. I'm using a little T ruler to make sure that that's nice, straight, and centered. And next, I'm using some foam uh, squares and I'm starting to uh, adhere those flowers. I'm starting with the largest ones and then uh, going to the smaller smaller ones and uh, I'll leave the leaves for last. Again I'm trying to make them as symmetrical as possible. Here I'm playing with the leaves. I changed the uh, arrangement of the leaves. 
I had those on the up. I think I had them originally on the opposite sides. So I just changed those up a little bit. And now I'm adding the small leaves on those corners. So for the leaves, I'm just using liquid adhesive. I'm not popping those out. I'm just tucking them under the flowers. Okay, so let's just assemble our card now. So on the back of the panel, I have another piece of um, scrap white cardstock. Uh, this allows me to add a little bit more uh, weight and make that panel more sturdy. I have created a top folding note card using some teal cardstock. This measures uh, four and a quarter by 11 and I scored it at five and a half. They just folded it up. Next, I'm adding some uh, foam tape on the back to add some dimension. And to finish it off, I will just remove the backing of that foam tape and adhere it to my note card. And also I add some liquid adhesive. This will also allow me um, to have a little bit more wiggle room or wiggle time to make sure that uh, that panel is nice and straight onto my note card. And that finishes our card for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. Also, please visit um, and subscribe to LDRS Creative YouTube channel and also visit our blog for more ideas and more inspiration. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.